kind of democracy is not only expensive, mm-hmm. um, but also fraudulent. Yeah. Our democracy itself is fraudulent. Our democracy itself is meant to um, impoverish, is meant to alienate the people, is meant mm-hmm. to inflict more hardships on the people. If not, if you disagree with me, you can argue with facts as to how your life or how the majority has felt better or have felt better since, let's say, 1989. Let's not go too far. Let's not go too way back. That's because the operators of the democracy itself, they have made sure that they incapacitate the democracy that we have, the governance structure that we have, to their benefit. So when His Excellency, Olusha Gomba Sojo, was saying this, this is something that people have said. You have said it so, you know, many times as well. They, they know how to render things useless, the political class. Look at every aspect of our life. Just look at it. Health, traditional institution. Just, just look at it everywhere. Anything they touch, just forget it. So is it democracy that they cannot render in cap- No, no. They will gladly well, do that. I, I think that the emergence of democracy some years back also came along with the social revolution that introduced a new set of characters into the polity. Mm. The, mm. the politicians mm. that we grew up to know, the likes of thinking politicians, Amadou Bello, um, I will, of course, Awolo War, Zeke, who had this desire for a great country. It's completely missing. This, the, 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 I can't say, you know, put it this way, the, the boss quarters boys took over the main house. We need to, a lot of, a lot of our politicians come from a very indecent background. I didn't say all. We need to, it's time we stare ourselves in the face. Because there are certain things that make you wonder. You see them talk in public. You see them, you know, take on some politics. Most of them are megalomaniacs. Most of them are insensitive. Most of them couldn't care a who about the followers that go with them. Mm. And we keep telling our young people, look at the way these people treat their children. Are you being treated likewise? The least at least you could do for all these young chaps that go abusing people on your behalf, for example. What do you do for them? You give them some, some chicken change and, and that's it. So we, we, we actually did have a social revolution and we had ourselves to blame. Mm. The elites thought that it was a dirty, you understand, uh, no, okay, let them do it and see what you have. The traditional institution is going in that same direction. Because the boys have, have the, infiltrated the, the, them. They've infiltrated them. Check the backgrounds of these people now. Well, why do you need to go too far? Check the backgrounds of some of the people that rule you. Whether go, look at look at what you have in the politics, mm. for example, when elections are coming up. Oh, he did not do A-levels. He did not do youth call. He did not do this. How can we be having that? such Criminal, conversation? Yes. At such a critical period. Yes. And guess what? It's becoming worse over time because it has now become the status quo. Look at the questions you need to ask when you need to, when people are put out there for voting. Some of them you don't know their names. Some of them you don't know schools attended. So some of them fraudulent. Did, 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 did that. We all look away. You cannot lay the foundation of a bungalow and want to build a 20-story building. So it's not just the politics that we practice, because as it is now, any politics that we practice, mm. if you don't have good practitioners, oh my word. Oh my word, Danone. 